What is happening, everybody? It's Friday, and time to break down more of the top bets of the day using the tools and data at Odd Shopper. So as you come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps us out a whole bunch. It's only going to take like a half second of your time to click a couple of buttons. So do appreciate that if you guys could help me out by doing that. And if you want to sign up at Odd Shopper, there's a link below that's going to get you 70% off the first time that you do sign up. Now let's go and look at some of the best bets of the day and a lot more to choose from today as compared to yesterday because yesterday, I mean, there was only three baseball games at night. There was four, a game got rained out today. Full slate, every team is in action. Let's dive into it, starting with the overall top bet of the day. Kiebert Ruiz, young prospect for the Washington Nationals, plus 800 to Homer. We've got the fair odds projected at plus 647. So Kiebert Ruiz overall is our top projected bet of the day. It's got a 20% expected EV. And uh, yeah, not too often are you going to see home run props, really any bets that project this well. So uh, Kiebert Ruiz today against the Philadelphia Phillies. If we look at the numbers for Ruiz for the year, you know, not that he's necessarily been blowing pitchers away. He's a 99 WRC plus, but for a catcher, he has 15 homers this year in 102 games. So with that in mind, you know, He's homering in about 14% of his games this year. We have him projected homer 13% of the time today. It's not really that crazy here that that's what the projection ends up being. So uh, Kiba Ruiz, yeah, he's actually homering even more frequently per game this year than what our projection is on him. So really do like him at plus 800 to homer. Some other lines here, JP France under 18 and a half outs against the Seattle Mariners. JP France has been solid this year, but... We have seen Houston be a little bit conservative with pitchers at this point in the season, and particularly guys who aren't the, you know, like Framber Valdez's of the world. I think it's far more likely to see JP France pitch, you know, five or six innings, then he goes seven or more, or anything like that. And if he pitches six innings, this bet still wins. It's you have to go, you have to go past six for this to end up not winning. So uh, minus 165 is the best available line. We do have minus 185 as the true odds. If we look at other lines, yeah. Pretty much any book that has up here, we have projected as a good bet. So JP France under 18 and a half outs. Let's see what else we have. Michael Lorenzen over 17 and a half outs. So just need Michael Lorenzen to get through six innings against the Washington Nationals. Michael Lorenzen recently pitched a no hitter and decent enough matchup against the Nationals. One thing that does help pitchers in terms of their ability to get length out of Washington is while their offense isn't overall incredibly potent, they don't strike out a ton. They put the ball in play a lot. So if hitters are going to be putting the ball in play against Michael Lorenzen, it stands to reason that he's going to be more efficient with his pitch count. Therefore, I do like him for over 17 and a half outs. Just need six innings out of Michael Lorenzen. He's pitching pretty well this year. Let's see what else we have. We've got a Seth Lugo prop here for under 17 and a half outs. This one mostly because it's due to it being plus money. Let's see what else. Any other home run props here? If you guys are looking at the afternoon slates, Seiya Suzuki plus 870 to Homer. So there are a couple of afternoon games. One of them is going to be a makeup game from the rainout yesterday. So a double header between Detroit and Cleveland. But I uh, say Suzuki plus 870 to Homer. That's not a bad look there. Let's see anything else. Michael Lorenzen kind of correlates to what I said before. The Nationals don't have the most potent offense in the world, but... They don't strike out a ton. They put the ball in play. So Michael Lorenzen, I like his over for outs. I do like his under for four and a half strikeouts here. I think both of those do make some sense. Let's go ahead and look at the prize picks builder. See what stands out there. In prize picks, under one and a half total bases for Brennan Rogers, Max Kepler, Austin Riley, and Alec Bohm. Under four strikeouts for Zach Thompson. They're eight and a half for Spencer Strider. So this is going to be the best projected Play we have four prize picks with a 6% expected EV. And yeah, we've got in here, you guys know if you watch video prize picks builder, we've got the parlay builder as well, all included when you sign up using that link below, 70% off. All right, let's look at uh, DraftKings and then FanDuel. We'll see what we could build as far as parlays go i'll include some of the preseason action we've got titans vikings under 37 and a half projected fairly well tomorrow under five and a half strikeouts for cole raggins under one and a half total basis for paul goldschmidt so a little bit of plus ev on this plus 519 odds winning 16 percent of the time got the goldschmidt under bases and yeah mixing and matching pitcher prop we've got a batter prop and then under 37 and a half in the 
football game tomorrow between the Tex, the uh, Titans, and the Vikings. Let's see what's in the FanDuel parlay builder. Here we got the Lorenzen under strikeouts. And here's some tennis props. Marlow to record a hit. No, no, no. Titans minus two and a half for tomorrow. So I'm mixing and matching all different kinds of sports and different props here. We've got a strikeout prop on Michael Lorenzo that we talked about before. Marlowe for the Mariners, just one hit for him against J.P. France, minus 125. Titans minus two and a half tomorrow in that preseason football game. And then uh, Shimanovic against Rocky Mova for uh, tennis for under 22 and a half total game. So this is a uh, six leg, uh, six leg, sorry. Four leg parlay with a 6% expected EV, nearly 10 to 1 odds on this. So that is fun parlay that we built here over for FanDuel. And if you guys like playing parlays or if you just want the best single bets of the day, check out Odd Shopper. Use that link below. 70% off when you sign up for your first month. So check it out. And if you want more bets and information for myself, you can also download Chalk, which is a totally free to download app. It's included in the link below. And we do give away some free subscriptions to stuff like Odd Shopper from time to time within Chalk. So there is value in there. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you're not done yet, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you all have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday.